So Kirk cheated on the Kobayashi Maru. Mm -hmm. And because he cheated, there's an academic review session about his cheating, which I teach if there's a cheating problem, it'll be like a small committee of maybe two or three professors yep. or maybe somebody from HR looking over what's going on, but not at Starfleet Academy. When there's a cheater, we have full dress attendance, you know, a thousand people in the stands for the, <laughs> the cheating review board. Let's watch. This session has been called to resolve a troubling matter. James T. Kirk, step forward. Cadet Kirk, evidence has been submitted to this council suggesting that you violated the ethical code of conduct pursuant to regulation 17.43 of the Starfleet Code. Wait, wait, wait. Is there wait, anything wait. you care to say? Look at the crowd. So the crowd is like, we're dressed up. It's going to be, you know, a raw warfare, some big briefing. We're going to get some intel. What is going on? This is awesome. Oh, Kirk cheated? That's why I'm here? Oh. Oh, I thought of it the other way. I was like, if I'm a cadet here, like, why am I in my dress uniform? Like, I want to be in the dining hall right now. What is happening here? And then, and then someone from the audience gets called up for cheating. Like, oh, that drama. Like, who, what's the tea? What's going to happen right now? I'm going to watch it live. Yeah, and this massive shame session for some reason. Massive shame session. Yeah, that's right. Why don't they just handle it quietly amongst the professors? Right, and, and in fact, if the cheating, if there's cheating allegations, you don't want to make it public until it's until it's Confirmed. clear that the cheating has actually happened if you shame session somebody and then it turns out oh actually we were mistaken he hasn't cheated everybody's like kirk's a fucking cheater like right that's right that's right they're ganging up on him and bullying him because what if what if he did not cheat and now and then it comes to light that he didn't cheat and now the panel has to eat their words like that's super bad that's super bad plus I'm a cadet. I've got homework. I've got oh, yeah. things to take care of. I'm not going to get this I've time been, back. I got to put my my dress uniform on. I got to show up to this on time. I want to be in fencing class right now. Fencing class right. is dope. Oh well, yeah, I could be. I could be in the rec room. I could be doing homework. I could be studying. I could be eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead, I'm here. There's there's no way for every regulation infraction they have a large i don't know what you would call this session hearing like this? session yeah this like auditorium styled seating everyone gets to watch him <laughs> although if they had pizza yeah I'll, oh, that's I'll right that. that's that's oh. how it's done man the back room like the, mm. the i guess the atrium where you come in it's like stacks of pizza everybody's like yes <laughs> They're like, but like, don't eat it yet. You have to wait until you go out of the auditorium. And we're like, oh my gosh, I can no, smell it. No, the whole time. I can smell it. Mm. Or, or you're in the He's auditorium. He's guilty. Get him out. <laughs> you're in the auditorium. You hear the doors open and like a, a cart come in. You can, <gasps> you're like, it's coming. When, when is break time? Oh my gosh, when is the snacks? <laughs> oh my god, Kirk's guilty. Let's go. So I'll go to like scientific conferences, and it's pretty clear, like. When, when the scheduled break time, people are mentally checked out. It's whoever that last speaker is before yeah. that, before the break time is like, oh, you will kind of say 75% of what you're going to yeah. say. Especially if there's like a coffee smell that like wafts smell, in. Yeah. It's like, yep. this, where's this over right now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, good results. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's go, <laughs> coffee. 17.43 of the Starfleet Code. Is there anything you care to say before we begin, sir? Yes, I believe I have the right. Also, he has no chance to prepare his defense. It's like, hey, I accuse you. Come up, defend it right now. That's right. Does he know the procedures for this? I mean, Probably. the procedures are defend yourself right now. Right now. You're guilty if you don't I know what you, you can't defend yourself. Face my accuser directly. Step forward, please. This is Commander Spock. He is one of our most distinguished graduates. <laughs> He's programmed the Kobayashi Maru exam for the last four years. Clearly Cadet biased. Kirk, you somehow yep. managed to install and activate a subroutine in the programming code, thereby changing the conditions of the test. Your point being? In academic okay. vernacular, you cheated. Is it cheating? Wait, wait, wait. So Kirk changes the test. The teacher doesn't catch it, gives mm -hmm. him the test. But I just, the teacher gave me a test and I took it. Is that cheating? Well, that's the teacher's fault. Teacher, you got to check your you got to check your test. Like if I'm doing calculus and the prof the professor's like, "Here's an algebra exam." And I sit down, I turn my paper over, I'm like, "Oh, there's algebra today." All right. Crank 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 crank. Is that my fault? Okay, so that wouldn't be cheating because the teacher gave you the wrong test. Isn't but that what Spock did? Gave Kirk the wrong test. I don't know how this would happen in real life, but like 
if I wrote a test on my computer, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and then I close the program, and then a mm -hmm. student hacks into my computer, changes the test, and somehow I hand out the papers as of during the test exam, yeah. without noticing that oh, this has been altered, yeah, then I think the person he didn't cheat, but he did. He definitely did something wrong. He hacked into my system to change if the you test. Can prove it. That's right. How could, how would you know who hacked in? And it's my fault for not noticing the test had changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's still there's still an infraction there. I just maybe it's not the, cheating. Yeah, there's something there's something <laughs> weird there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, in principle, like I'm just a student. I took that test, whatever you gave in front of me. But also, the test was clearly broken. <laughs> like, it was not the standard test. Something clearly wrong with this. That's right. I guess if Kirk hacked it and then uh, Spock gave it to five different people that day. So four of them did not cheat, but Kirk did because he was the one responsible for changing the test. So what you're saying <laughs> is Kirk needed his friend to change to cheat to change the programming, and then Kirk just shows up and is all super innocent, actually legitimately guilty free because he didn't do anything wrong. Okay, okay. How how could you make this work? So Kirk needs to communicate to the guy to do the hacking without telling the guy to do the hacking or without having the intent to do it. Because mm -hmm. the intent would make just, him guilty. Just, oh boy, I wish tomorrow's exam would be super easier tomorrow. That's enough. That's enough. Let's send, send the message out there. Let it spread. Get it's a hacker still, friend that gets and does it. It's still dishonest. It's still like yeah, he I knows. Mean, I would know what easy exam. Sure. I think I think this the second step is you gaslight yourself into and then you convince yourself you did nothing wrong. That's right. That's the best option. <laughs> <laughs> I think there has to be some sort of gaslighting in there to make the dishonesty. To make yourself believe the dishonesty. Yeah, I like it. That makes sense. <laughs>